My name is Katie and today I'm bringing you my TBR for the Anti-Bully Reads Readathon which is happening this week from today which is Monday all the way up to Sunday and all you simply have to do is read any book that contains any sort of bullying whether it's big, whether it's small, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical or whether it's abusive, any sort of form of bullying that is what you're meant to read in the books because we are raising awareness that bullying is a thing that bullying does happen as this is anti-bully week and it's happening all over the UK loads of people are taking part in it and Sarah Churchill who is an amazing booktuber I will link her channel and her video announcing this in the description box below but she has decided to create this readathon and she's amazing for doing that and I'm really really excited to read all of these books. Now personally for me bullying is a major thing. I think everybody gets bullied and it mainly happens in secondary school. I know it's a horrible thing but it's just the age that people are really immature and just where they like to cause pain with people and to inflict it on them and make them feel small whether it's just being verbally abusive or physically abusive it's horrible and there are unfortunately people out there who do do that and the best way honestly speak up about it speak to somebody about it and just ignore all of the hate that you get in because it means nothing words are simply nothing they're meant to designed to hurt you and yes they are really hurtful words but honestly if you just think no you know what I'm awesome. Like, why are you, say are you saying that I'm like some filthy pig? Because I know that I'm not. I know I've got a clean uniform or whatever. You do get people that just say words for no apparent reason. You get customers, even in your jobs, who are verbally abusive to you for no apparent reason because they like to think that you're going to feel hurt. But you just got to show them, no, you're not going to hurt me. You're not going to hurt me. I'm right. You're wrong stop it because honestly being verbally abusive doesn't get you anywhere whatsoever but yes there are these hotlines there are these websites where these professional people are actually out there to speak to you about it to help you out especially when you've got nobody to talk to but if you know somebody who's personally being victimized for bullying then you need to speak to them about it and if you are being bullied then you need to speak out but that is basically all about bullying and honestly my top advice is to stay positive and just move on and be successful and ignore all of the haters shake it off like Taylor Swift says anyway let's move on to the books I plan on reading and this is really cool because this also coincides with my review a thon which is happening this month where you're just meant to read as many review books as you got and I'm really behind with my reviews because of everything that happened in the summer with me being ill with work being busy and stuff and it's horrible and I hate being behind I like to be on track of things I just want to get ahead for 2015 so some of these I've actually had for review and I need to get around to read and I feel terrible but if I get these read I feel so so much better so the first book that I've got is Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick and this is the author of the Silver Linings playbook which was also made into a movie I haven't read or watch the movie so I feel pretty bad but I do really really want to because I know it's got Jennifer Lawrence in it from The Hunger Games and she is awesome and it sounds like a really really cool movie as well but I really want to read his YA book this sounds really cool about someone that's turning 18 it sounds really emotional it's quite a short book so this shouldn't take me long to read the next book that I've got on the list is Teased by Amanda Maciel. This is my proof copy, as you can tell. This came out in May and that was when all of my stuff happened, so I feel terrible. I need to get this read, but it sounds really cool. And the next book I've got is Trouble by Non Pratt. And I feel terrible that I haven't read this yet because she is a really, really nice author. She's really supportive. She actually put a little message in this book and said that there's a character with my name in, in this book. And she's basically saying that I'm more awesome than this Kate in this book, so thanks, and I'm proud, it's really nice, but I feel terrible. This has got pregnancy in it, which is cool, I haven't read a lot of books with pregnancy in. I think I've only probably read like one book with pregnancy in actually, so need to read more. This sounds like it's going to be kind of hilarious as well, but I'm not entirely sure, but we shall see. Maybe it's going to have all the feels in it, but I'm looking forward to that. This next book you probably would have all seen all around YouTube, and that is 
The Winger by Andrew Smith. Now I read Grasshopper Jungle by this author and that was a crazy weird ass book, I'm not gonna lie. But I know his writing is very similar, it's very out there, it's very vulgar and it's just very strong and I kind of liked it, it's kind of witty in that sort of way so I'm looking forward to read this book, it's actually quite chunky so hopefully I can get around to reading that. But if I still have time I'm going to read Reason to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan and this is the first book that is in a series or a trilogy, I'm not entirely sure but this is a really emotional sort of book and on the back here it says pulling down her sleeves to conceal the bruises so whether that's emotional bruises or physical bruises who knows either way it sounds completely like oh. so I'm really excited about reading that book actually. Now if I end up being a complete reading machine which I was actually last November I read like so many books it was crazy I just kept reading and reading and reading but if that happens this week because I've got five days where I'm not working and if I can read superbly and I've got some other books that got bullying in as well apparently Dare You To by Katie McGarry has a bit of bullying in I was looking up on Goodreads and some people have marked it in the bullying folder so I guess it probably has a bit of it even if it's really small and there's also the tragedy paper by Elizabeth Laban this also was labelled as bullying and this I'm not entirely sure but I feel like it is a sort of bullying and this is Worldwide by Rob Lloyd Jones and this is about a boy who was raised as a monster in a freak show so in a way that's kind of like he was bullied to do it so it's a different type of bullying but it sounds really really cool so yeah this is my proof copy of that so i am really intrigued to read that so guys these are all of the books i'm planning on reading during this week for this anti-bully reads readathon and obviously if i get to read more then i've got these other books as well or i've got like some ebooks that i've got but those are the books that i'm hoping to read some of anyway like obviously if i read them all that would be amazing but that's only if like all i do is read even while i sleep or something so those are all the books and let me know down in the comments below what you guys are planning on reading what your thoughts about bullying are were you bullied how did you deal about it and yeah so honestly keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie thank you so so much for watching and i'll see all of you in my next video good luck for the readathon guys bye